and that is the trophy that the teams are playing for, the Warn Muradiscan Trophy, which was unveiled yesterday. It's a beauty, too, cast of these two great bowlers' hands and their grip on the ball. Mind you, not all has been rosy in the camp between this pair the last week. Look at these headlines in all the big papers. Shane Warne came out in one of his own columns saying that anybody who had uh, dodgy action need to be tested in match situations, not in practice. And Murley's response, well, I think everybody knows that he had a blast back at Warne. Now, yesterday morning, they kissed and made up. There they are arriving at uh, Bell Reeve. Let's have a listen to them at the press conference. Uh, look, I've got absolutely no issue with Murley and his action or anything like that. So all I said in my column that I wrote and I said that common sense should prevail that anybody who the umpires or anybody think that has any issue with their um, action, I'm not saying your list before you all jump the gun, I'm not saying that, I'm saying anybody in world cricket, um, that they should be tested in match conditions. So I think that's just common sense and that's the way it should be. I've got no problems with Muralee's uh, action whatsoever. So I think uh, we spoke each other and uh, it's like a little bit of miscommunication. I thought he said something and I just opened in my mouth then as well. So I said sorry to him because of that. So it's patched out in the year after anything else. He said, call me and ask whether I said it or not. Then he will say yes or no. Yeah. Miscommunication or mischievous? Ian Healy and uh, Tony Gregg are out in the middle with me. Morning, gentlemen. Morning, Mark. Uh, I don't know what Warney thought he was going to achieve by even having any sort of allegations uh, in, in an article. I just Terry Jenner had said it. It's ill-informed because the game has already been told you can't do it in match conditions. I don't know what Warney what thought he was achieving. What an allegation. No allegation in the article. Well, I, I'm not so sure about that. Look, um, Warren and Jenner are joined at the hip. I mean, as his coach. Jenner comes out and makes an accusation basically aimed at Moodley. You know, I don't get what anyone says. That's what it was. It was test Moodley in the centre to establish whether or not he has got a suspect action. Warren comes out with an article saying, I agree with Terry Jenner. So, you know, whichever way you look at it, I think that Heels is right. I think that there was a little bit of stirring going on as far as that's concerned. I, you know, to be perfectly honest, I, I just think that they would have been better off leaving this to another day. I mean, if they really do feel strongly enough about this, then, um, you know, come up with an idea, submit the idea to the uh, ICC if they like, and go and see the people that actually do these tests. And as Ian Healy says, so that we can, in fact, test them for them. That's not a bad idea if it's possible, but it's impossible. Yeah, we, the, the game has been told a couple of years ago when these latest throwing laws were uh, revised that it can't be done. With a shirt on, you cannot centre the, centre the shoulder joint, the elbow joint, the wrist joint as perfectly as you have to to get an accurate reading. If you're doing it live, it is plus or minus five degrees, which, which cannot be uh, good enough for the accuracy that's required. Warren maintains that he absolutely wasn't firing anything as merely. He was just making a comment about questionable actions anyway and how they should be tested. What well, you're saying is timing's bad a couple of days before a test when your record's under threat. Well, especially when you're coming down to, uh, to unveil uh, no, this big trophy. Murley's going to be there. Um, and you, know, you come out with a statement you know, that's, you know, I, look, definitely, timing really bad. You need to think about these things a little bit. Look, we've all been there. I've said, I've said some silly things in my time. But you know, put yourself in Murley's position. You know, Moonley's get, getting it all the time. I mean, up at the Gabba, it's, it's disgraceful. I mean, they were, those crowds were no-balling him. It's going to happen, so he's a bit tense, and so he's going to fire back as well. It was nice to see him withdraw. I think it was a, quite a good fire back there, that he, that he <laughs> did the laboratory testing, is as tight as they can get it, until they do work on this live-action ability to read action. But uh, they've got to get a set of revolutions on a ball. They've got to be bowling at a 95% of their match speed. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of things that they are creating in a, li uh, in a lab that is pretty accurate. I still feel Warney was probably slightly misrepresented. But let, let's move that on, because there is a view amongst ex-players and players, increasingly, that Muriel is fine anyway, isn't it? I mean, more and more I speak to uh, have a greater doubt. Yeah, well, people that have been exposed to, um, you know, as you have, to that cast on his yeah. arm, um, you know, and I think that, a, that the deeper thinkers in cricket uh, are, are the guys that are coming out in favour of him a bit more now. Um, what was interesting about doing that 
thing that I did with him when he bowled with a cast on his arm, and no human being on the planet could have uh, bent their arm that far, is that when we did a split screen of his usual action, and with the cast on, there was no difference. In other words, there was an optical illusion created by both the shoulder and the wrist, but not by a bent arm, which was fascinating. Well, it is a bent arm. I think it's a great advantage for him to have a, a permanently bent arm. He yes. cannot the straighten point it. The point is it doesn't No, that's right. So, so it, it's a great advantage for what he does achieve with the ball, that, that is for sure. Uh, I just like I just like the trophy. How good is the trophy? Yes, well, this is, a, this is a bit of his action. Just have a look at that wrist as the ball comes out. You like the trophy. I just hope he gets the wickets to break the record. Yeah, <laughs> yeah in our, on our soil. But he, he, is a, he is hitting one. He does rotate the shoulder, as you say, Mark, and then it looks straight from front on, and then he's got this wrist that delivers some spin that way, some spin Actually, that, that way. Was, that uh, was very well done. That that's was, right. That well, you can awesome. imagine freeze frame. You know, the freeze frame that you see in the newspapers and sometimes the freeze frame that we show on television shows because he's got... It's 36 degrees. That's the bend before he starts. He's allowed another 15, and he's, then he's allowed to straighten back to that 36 degrees. So, uh, you know, it's an interesting one. What, what about, about the, uh, I've got a sock What about the trophy? Do you like it? I, I love, love it. The Worn and really like hands. The it's like going to stand the test of time. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. And more of Shane Warne on tonight's uh, current affair. For the moment, we'll take a short break.